be. It's a great day for uh, 36 Squadron. The C-17 uh, is the largest aircraft ever to land in Antarctica. Uh, but to be able to support the Antarctic Division, uh, get a large amount of equipment down on the ice um, in a day is something phenomenal for them. At the moment, if we're carrying anything heavy up and down to Antarctica, which is what we need for all of our core business, we have to do it on the ship. So we get one opportunity a year to bring in heavy gear or take it out. This opens up an enormous range of possibilities. It means we can do big science projects at much shorter notice and gives us a huge amount of redundancy. We haven't had to do anything differently with the aircraft. It was designed to operate in cold temperatures. Uh, in fact, we often operate in Alaska in the northern hemisphere winter. Uh, so coming down south is really a red letter day for Australia to bring the aircraft down to our own territory uh, at Wilkins. We've brought an aeromedical evacuation team along and obviously this is a significant capability. If, if uh, someone falls ill on the ice and they need to be evacuated for medical attention, we're able to whistle up a C-17 fairly quickly, get a team together, get down to the ice and get them back to the mainland as quickly as possible. It's a long, long time in planning. It's, it's the RAAF's sort of capability, having enough capability to have aircraft that they can do this with. And it's the AAD trying to integrate a heavy lift capability in with our shipping and with our other A319 passenger aircraft. And, uh, and so it's, it's a really important uh, and, and long planned, long work capability.